Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Kawana Jeans here, and I'm back with another video. And today, we're going to talk about things you probably never knew about in Arboreal 3 that ever happened, or it was just in the game nobody really knew about. There's a couple things that I never knew about, so y'all might not know either. We're going to go right into that. But before we do, I just want to give another shout out to Zornage. As y'all see, he's playing with his my player in the gameplay you see right now. I want to thank him for giving me this background gameplay because when I was trying to record some background gameplay, it was, it just wasn't working for me, bro. I, I couldn't play like myself. So I got Zornish to do it for me, and I'm very grateful and thankful for him. And yeah, go um to his YouTube channel, subscribe to him. He posts RB Road 4 leaks, y'all. He's probably the only YouTuber that be posting RB Road 4 leaks consistently, bro. And he's, you know, helping the community out, giving insight on the game, just, just helping us all out. So go ahead. Hit up his channel. You can do that right now, actually. Go to his channel, subscribe, and come back, back to me. But now, let's get right into this video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about in this video is the, like, I like to call it exclusive clothing or rare clothing that nobody has really seen anybody else wear or just seen in general. So as you see me right now in this video, I'm walking in threads, right? Cause it's mainly in threads, you can see the clothing. Of course you see the shoes, you know, the shoes that only the developers and moderators have their own that they made specifically for them. Look pretty cool, wish you could wear them, but no, you can't. But alongside of that, there's a few shirts, and, um, I believe a hoodie that have different designs that we were never able to purchase or buy at all such as the black lives matter as y'all guys are probably seeing right now and um the the um d fuel shirt it, it's it's pretty cool to see these type of designs up in here that i i've never seen anybody wear and for some reason you can't buy it so it's pretty interesting oh yeah and i'm gonna put a picture up right now there's also another shirt that i took a picture of one day i don't know what it is but but it's another shirt that i took a picture of when i noticed it and never seen anybody wear it and nobody is able to buy it pretty interesting that different clothes can appear on the um, mannequins in the store but you still can't buy it though maybe in arbor Row 4 every piece of clothing that is offered and available and threads that are on the mannequins will be able to buy for real i hope arbor Row 4 has more of a range of clothing than arbor Row 3 does because let's be honest every outfit in arbor Row 3 is kind of dry it's kind of hard to make new unique outfits for yourself and everybody else is pretty much wearing the same thing. But that's just me. Tell me what y'all guys think in the comments. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. For the second thing I'm gonna talk about in this video is facial hair and I guess we could say exclusive hats too, like hats, rare hats that we can't wear in the game. So yeah, let's get right into it. Um, This first pick I'm about to pull up right here it's score XL. I was walking in rec center one day and I noticed that he had a mustache out of all the people who played in the game. I was like, wait, hold on. Is, is my screen glitched or is this real? I took a picture of it. And then after that, I believed it was real. Like he really had a mustache on his player. Then um, I went to the barber shop thinking they probably added mustaches to the game and we just didn't know except him. And I looked throughout the whole barbershop catalog. I ain't seen not one facial hair thing in it not a beard not a mustache nothing in arbor world 2 there was a beard in the game but you had to go bald like top of your head had to be bald for you to equip the beard on unfortunately but arbor world 3 had no facial hairs in the game even though a lot of people pretty much wanted facial hair in the game such as rh2 rh2 got facial hair and regular hair why well, couldn't arbor world 3 but hey that, that's just for a different a different day different time but back to uh, score excel having a mustache I pretty much hit him up on Discord about it. Like, wait, how'd you get a mustache, bro? And he told me that an admin gave him the mustache, but Jokes ended up removing it. So that's unfortunate. I feel like Jokes should have let him keep it, bro. Cause why not? It ain't hurt nobody, for real, for real. And um, here's the picture of the uh, rare hat. I was talking about, I was playing, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, gosh. I was playing with a moderator that day when I was on the walk flock back then on my post score and slasher. And we were streaking up a little bit, but I noticed that he had like this hoodie on and his face all squished up in the hoodie looked pretty funny. It's it's not that cold in the rec center building, a recreational center building, bro. It can't be that cold. 
but yeah, that's a rare hat. There's probably many more that came from, like, for instance, um, Jokes' is, um, Roblox user outfit in the game. He has his own Roblox user character in his own game, so yeah, I I'm pretty sure all y'all see what that look like. And if you don't know what it looks like, just go on um, Jokes' Roblox page, and his avatar he got on there now, that's what it looks like in this game, so yeah. And that's it for number two, let's get on to number three. All right, for thing number three. Thing on, um, for things number three and four, it's both gonna be about the username and the username colors. But for the first one, number three, it's pretty interesting. Here's how I found out about this one, right? So everybody knows that there's two main colors, or three actually, white. You're just a regular user, regular player on Arboro 3. Pretty much 90% of, no, 99% of players have this. It's just a white username. Then there's red. That means you're a moderator. You can kick, ban people from the game. And as earlier mentioned, you can <laughs> implement your own custom hats. And I guess facial hairs in the game if you want to. So yeah, that's when you're a moderator. Your username is red. I actually have a video about a moderator pulling up on me. You can check that out whenever y'all want. And there's a, the, um, the main one that everybody really knows of, the yellow username. Only the developers. The developers of the uh, game Arbor 3 has this. So jokes um i doge or i dodge and woodall woodall have the uh, yellow username when they play arbor Road 3. they also have their own custom clothing that everybody can get in the uh, roblox thread shop so you can go cop those if you want and um the reason i mentioned that is because there's another color that i didn't know of which is the color blue i'm gonna post two pictures up right now blue usernames whenever y'all saw these guys in park and if you have no clue what that meant or anything i'm here to let y'all guys know now because at the time i didn't thank you to zornich again because he actually the one that sent me these pictures and told me about it i didn't know what that was at the time i played rb for a long time like what three years now and i still don't didn't know about the blue usernames that's pretty crazy to me but when you have a blue username pretty much only mods and developers have access to this is when you can access an in-game like practice menu whatever character menu like you do in practice when you first load up Arbor 3 um what that allows you to do is choose any um rba player that's available in the game and just play as them in park so right now as you see henry ford freaking terry carter and whoever else y'all see that's pretty much who you can play as. You can play as Mike Johnson, any one of those guys. So yeah, that was pretty cool. And anytime you saw a blue username, that's what they were doing. Just pulling up the RBA player menu and just playing as those characters, but in park, maybe in rec center too, not too sure on that. Uh, and um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Now let's get into the fourth one, which is also another username color uh, topic. So there is this one username oh all right so now we're on topic number four the thing number four so there's this one username color that only one person has ever had in the entire rb history as far as i'm aware not even jokes not even a moderator not even like a youtuber well actually i'm wrong about that i'm very wrong it was indeed a youtuber i don't think at the time he was very well known in the community well he was known but not like dimer dylan monte like not up there at the time this happened in the community so pretty much i'm gonna tell you a little story this youtuber his name was shot clock That's a familiar name sounds familiar familiar yeah one day hub was releasing or jokes was like about to release hub and he was just doing some final testing shot clock and jokes was in the same server and um, Shot Clock was like, I believe, daring to like enter the hub building before it was actually released. He didn't actually do it, but he was like daring to. And Jokes like sent a message saying, yo, Shot Clock, I, I dare you to like come in here and you're getting banned. Shot Clock was just laughing about it the entire time. Then out of nowhere, he, remind you, Shot Clock didn't go in the hub building. He didn't go in the hub building, right? Shot Clock, username, bro, just started changing colors like rapidly. Like, it wasn't a single color. It was like a rainbow RGB type of color. Just changing colors rapidly. And I believe it uh, said the words banned by his name, too. Which is pretty, pretty weird. Even... I I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just roll the clip.
<laughs> he gave me a fucking band roll. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We in this. So as you guys can see, that, that, that was pretty crazy. I've never seen that before with anybody else except for him. But um, let me tell y'all something real quick. One day, years ago, jokes are streaming. He was streaming RB, discussing about the um, toxicity, the diss, tra diss track that was dropped to him by Wyron K, Monte, somebody else. And um, he mentioned this in the stream, that if he were to give a logo to any YouTuber in RB, that it would be Andy, I believe, not 100% sure, Dimer, Dim Dimer Dylan, and Shot Clock. The guy you just saw the video, right? At the time when I heard that, I was like, who's Shot Clock? And I looked him up. He had like 200, 300 subs, I, I believe, at the time. And I was like, why is Shot Clock getting a YouTube logo before Monte in Jokes' eyes? At the time, right? And then I thought after Shot Clock got banned for doing nothing, now why is Jokes banning Shot Clock for doing nothing? He had to make his username flash all rainbowly for what? And then ban him for what? Did somebody like tell jokes that Shot Clock glitched in and, and jokes didn't see it and reported him? False reporting? It, it, that situation just got, got me thinking. But that's just something on the side. All right, let's get on to the fifth thing. I believe a month ago, jokes decided to drop a place where you can shoot around on these arcade machines for arboreal 4 the arcade machines for arboreal 4 right but he also have done that for arboreal 3 in the past too and y'all guys can uh just see this real quick this is number five by the way Y'all guys can uh, just see this real quick. You can actually go to this place and shoot around on the um, Arboro 3 arcade machines back before they were on um, playable in Arboro 3 today. So that, that's just pretty nostalgic, pretty old. Y'all can go visit this place if y'all want to. If y'all want the link to this place, I'll probably put it in the comments. Just let me know if y'all do. If y'all don't, just don't say anything about it. It's just something interesting y'all guys can see here. And um, yeah, this is number five. And actually, this is the last one, too. The last interesting thing that nobody or not a lot of people have known about that ever happened in RB. Whether inside the game or outside, it just didn't matter. All right, so, um, yeah, this is it. Guys, I barely ask y'all to subscribe, right? But, um, we, like, what, 18 subs away right now, bro, from 1K? Hey, bro, just hit that subscribe button for me, bro. That, that's it. That's it, bro. We, we close to a goal. Let, let's hit that, bro. Let's hit that by this week or something, bro. A thousand subs, bro. That, that's pretty crazy. That's a milestone, bro. Oh, yeah, and the reason I'm kind of quiet right now, right now, is because I'm burning some sage. Ah, sweet, sweet sage. But yeah, yeah, hey, so just subscribe, all right? This is the end of my video. If you learn something new and you're not subscribed, just go ahead and subscribe right now, bro, at this point. But if I didn't teach you something that you didn't, that you already know or something, I mean, if I didn't teach you something that you didn't know, you don't have to subscribe. How about that, all right? <laughs> I'm very, I'm very awful at outros right now, bro. I'm just getting back to making videos. I hope you guys really did enjoy this one. And, um, yeah, I got, I'll got. i catch y'all guys in the next one. Let me just end it off here. Right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, peace out, y'all. And uh, I'm visualize things coming to me that I would have wanted or whatever. Drive home and think, oh, I do have these things. Uh, they're out there. I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. So I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, and I gave myself...